Hi, I'm Vibrating Summers and welcome back to another episode of Soul Stone Astrology where I give you my textured take on the world of astrology and in this week's episode I'll be dealing with Jupiter's transit into Libra which takes place on September the 9th, so in about three weeks time and it will be there until October the 10th, 2017. Just before I get into that episode, I want to let you know I'm doing a private episode whereby it will be Jupiter through the houses, which gives you an opportunity to see how that may fit within your own personal chart. So that's a private episode. I will not be sharing that anywhere in the public domain. If you want access to that episode, email me at byberenesamuels.com at googlemail.com and it will cost you 15 pounds. The episode will be available from September the 1st. So as I said, once again, it's going to be Jupiter through the houses, which will be able to tie into your more, so into your personal chart. It won't be available, so if you want access, email me. I'll put all the contact details in the comment box below. Also, if you'd like a personal private reading with me, I also offer those. They're paid readings. And the reason why I mention this is a number of you have approached me in terms of whether it's on the public, public comments or private YouTube messages or emails. Yes, I do offer readings, but they are paid readings. They are not free readings. So if you want a paid reading with me, feel free, drop me an email by Samuels at googlemail.com. So that's it in terms of what's available for now and let's now turn into Jupiter through Libra. So when we're looking at the, the bountiful, expansive planet of Jupiter and it's in the home of Libra which is ruled by Venus. So Libra is about social justice, harmony, balance, love, friendships, social inter interactions and cooperation and collaboration. So that's the realm of Libra. And then we have Jupiter, who has tentacles in education and travel and communication and religion and philosophy and higher education and the legal system and justice. And so we're bringing together these principles. And then we need to pay attention to Saturn being in Sagittarius, which is the sign that Jupiter rules and will be alongside Jupiter through its journey in Libra because Saturn in Sagittarius will finish its run in Sagittarius in December 2017. So Saturn uh, in Sagittarius plays a part in terms of Jupiter in Libra. So what are we looking at here in terms of the personal realm? So we're going to be drawn to our one-on-one -on -one relationships and that could be deepening uh, close relationships or friendships as well as wider social interactions. But in terms of personal relationships, you're seeking to balance this sense of exploration beyond your everyday reality, beyond your boundaries. You're looking for something new. There's a sense of boredom in your world, together with having the security that comes from your relationship. And it's about being with somebody who understands the desire to expand your horizons and your need for freedom together with this sense of security. And so that's what you're sort of going to be faced with as Jupiter moves through Libra. So it's about the social realm. We're looking at Venus, the world of Venus. So there's a sense of objectivity that comes in terms of your interactions. Now I'm going to identify some trends that might show themselves now that Jupiter is about to move into Libra. And so if we look back to the last time Jupiter was in Libra, that was during the years of 2004 and 2005. And um, what we can see is certain trends, certain things that took place that may be replicated with a different slant in the coming next 13 months. So we're in the realm of the humanitarian causes. We are in this collaborative world. We are connected wherever we are in the world. And it's about how we show our humanity. Now in 2004, 2005, we had two very significant events that took place. One was an act of God, one was an act of man. The act of God was the tsunami that took place in Indonesia that killed at least a quarter of a million people. And this is because of the underwater earthquake that erupted and uh, the earthquake shattered everything and destroyed communities, destroyed 
families, everything. And so we responded right across the world in terms of our support and resources and money and care in terms of bringing some level of stability back into the lives of people who were so gravely affected. That took place on Boxing Day 2004. Now on the 30th of August 2005 is where we had Hurricane Katrina and this is seen as an act of man and the reason being is because the levees were very poorly maintained so when they burst they caused so much devastation and we around the world as we did with this tsunami watched in horror and aghast to see what was going on in America and here again we came together we banded together with resources and ideas and information and support and what we saw there was this sense of citizens who were born and raised in America were, were being described as refugees, as displaced people. And so the theme of the refugee and displacement and, and who's in the human family and who's outside the human family, we're going to see that maybe replicated over the next 13 months. But because our consciousness has raised, we are far more intolerant of those types of behavior. So there's going to be collaborations in terms of uh, global responses to such issues. Going back to 2004, 2005, we also saw peace agreements, peace missions. And one example is the joint military exercise that took place between China and Russia. And that was the peace mission of 2005. We also saw the peace agreement that was kicked off by the provisional IRA in 2005. And then more recently in 2015, we had the Iran plan where Iran has agreed not to use um, nuclear weapons that can cause such devastation to us here on planet Earth. And so here we've got Jupiter and Libra and it's providing protection and security. So we're going to be seeing different forms of peace resolutions, peace proposals that will be showing themselves over the next 13 months. Now, when we're looking at some of the themes of Jupiter, we can see them being played out in the public world. So if we take our sense and our need and our desire for citizen participation. We're seeing that grow, and we've seen that certainly over the last five years or so, and a great example of this is the Rotterdam Bridge. Now this bridge was funded through crowdfunding, so here we are coming together to find a solution to build the infrastructure of a particular city, and we're seeing this uh, intersection between citizen participation and the desire and the will for this to happen colliding with public or well, the reduction of public funding to fund public infrastructure so we could be seeing growth in the areas of architecture and design which we would really given that we're dealing with Venus and Libra which is about physical beauty and structure so we could see more initiatives around this particular area when it comes to mass transportation, we might be seeing new types of services. So for example, Uber has a service called Uber Pool, and what it's planning to do is to bring about this sharing economy, whereby we're sharing resources in order to connect to mass forms of transit or transportation. So it could be um, people sharing a car that brings them to the airport, to the train station, to the tube station, to docks, to get boats, or for buses. And this sense of the shared economy really has been driven by the millennial uh, generation because they don't have access in the way that our parents did in terms of owning resources. So we're seeing the shift away from ownership through to access. Another Jupiterian theme is education and higher education and further education. So, for example, when Michelle Obama leaves the White House, she plans to continue her initiative around let, <coughs> around let Girls Learn. And then we've got the phenomenal educational activist, Malala Safuzai, and she's been leading the campaign to ensure that girls across the world have access to secondary education. So we may see a proliferation of initiatives whereby the unseen and the unheard are being supported, are being given a voice so that they're able to access education in this situation that can empower them to make far more informed choices around their lives, which is the another theme around access that's shown between Jupiter and Libra. 
turning to the world of technology. So we've moved from uh, the, the PC through to the laptop, through to the smartphone, and we're now into the world of virtual reality. So here's another form of travel and communication, both ruled by Jupiter. Now, with uh, virtual reality, what we're or what we're able to do is to travel into virtual worlds. And this is, we're gonna see a rise in this because the computer industry backs this initiative. So here we're able to travel into different realms, different worlds, so that helps broaden our horizons. Staying with tech, if we come to Europe, now Europe has, um, a new social network called uh, Rocketbook. And what the plan for here is that members can post their messages and their comments, and it will be translated into the 25 official European languages. Europe is also supporting and developing and nurturing tech companies in Europe so that they can begin to match the uh, American tech giants. And the distinction here is that they will be based on European values, which is another indication of Jupiter in Libra. So we're seeing these different areas where there's going to be expansions. Another one is around coastal tourism. And the reason for this is, become, is because we are far more conscious around our footprint around the world and how we travel and what impact that we have. And so we're now in the realm of wanting sustainable uh, products and services that helps us in our uh, travels around the world. So we're seeing that with Jupiter and Libra, it's this sense of collaborating with each other so that we're able to raise the levels of consciousness, but also access. Another area of protection we're going to see will be an increase in the National Internet Bill of Rights. Now, there are some progressive countries who are already leading the way. So Nigeria, Italy and Brazil are implementing their National in, uh, Internet Bill of Rights. So we might see more countries doing so. And the reason for this is because as citizens, we're demanding access to our personal data. So there's going to be the releasing of personal data coming from uh, the government. So big data is going to be huge going through this Jupiter Libra. But there's the balance that we're trying to strike. We want access to our own personal information and to decide who has access to it and when, which then takes away the power from the corporates who are monetizing that. So it's about balancing those um, different competing interests together with the entrenched human rights to reduce abuses and looking at innovation and looking at the government's right to uh, defend us and protect us from crime and looking at companies who want to be innovative and want to profit. So, so much going on with